Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, we're going to have a go at doing a video barrel roll like this. Let's get started. Okay, what is the secret to a good VBR, a video barrel roll? Well, I've got this clip just above, which we will work on just now. First thing I'm going to do is highlight the clip, as I've done here. Press one on your keyboard, and then we've got to first of all decide which way we're going to go with the barrel roll. So start off with the keyframe. Now the key to doing a barrel roll so that the edges don't show when it's actually doing the spin is to set the size at 205. Tap enter, press X, close out. Now if you need to at this point reposition things in terms of the X and Y position, you can do that, but I'm quite happy with position of it just now i'll leave it as is then i'm going to move things along i'm going to stop at two seconds bang on then i'm going to drop another keyframe and this time we're going to go back then set the rotation so if you want to go counterclockwise tap on the little pencil icon type in the following minus three six zero tap enter press your little x and then when you do the rotation you'll see it goes anti-clockwise Go back again and you want to go clockwise you guessed it what you've got to do type in 360 press enter have a little x and then press play things go clockwise i think we'll leave it clockwise for this one on the previous clip i'd already done as the example we went anti-clockwise so we're playing this through for two seconds and we've increased the size to 205 to cover the edges and things are reduced somewhat then when it actually rotates you're going to see the edges that's why it's important to stick to 205 like so but then i'm going to come back out we'll do one last check of it looking good we'll probably trim it down a little bit so we're roughly in the right position now to sell this better than it is already there is some motion blur between the people i want some motion blur in the actual rotation as well to do that i'm going to send this clip here or to an app called time cut and we're going to add a little bit of motion blur so how do you get an individual clip out well highlight the clip with your clipboard copy Come out just a brand new project, you don't even have to name it or anything. Tap the plus icon and then tap paste. That will give you your clip. You can just move it down onto the main timeline. It's got its rotation in place, which is what we need. And then all we need to do is export it, put it into photos, 4K file, 25 frames a second, quality 75 megabits per second. We'll drop it to 50 and we only need video. There's no audio at the moment. So that's looking pretty good. Export that. Is it done? I'll get you over on TimeCut in a second. TimeCut has become one of these apps. It's essential in my work, especially if you end up having to shoot at a higher shutter speed with the iPhone, just because it's so bright, it even goes beyond what an ND filter can do. If you've got in your bag, then TimeCut is for you. So let's tap on it. It's one of these apps whereby it actually works better with the iPad in portrait mode landscape mode if you just shrink the window down a little bit now we want this little icon here smart motion blur tap on that you've got two choices you've got the motion blur on objects and you've got a more creative and visually appealing motion blur creates a sort of bokeh effect but we're going to go for the first one tap select and then from there we're going to tap on our clip that we need there's the effect tap on the top corner and then what i'm going to do is increase the intensity to 10 Take a look at it and then go up to 20. Now so far I've never gone higher than 20 for a mode 1 intensity but you can if you wish. We'll go for 20 today. Process the video and we want to process it out of 4k to export. And as you can see it's pretty fast when the clip's quite small. Larger clips obviously take longer to process. There's the overall effect. Tap save. You can enhance the blur and do other things if you wish. I'm quite happy with this initial blur. And then all we've got to do is take things back into LumaFusion and drop the clip back into the timeline. You know that we're back in LumaFusion. We don't need the original all Esther square clip. So I'll just highlight that, delete it. And I'm going to keep the processed hyperlapse clip, the first one, in place to start with. And then I'm going to drag and drop my export video, which is what TimeCut calls all the videos that it exports. We'll just drag and drop it in place over the top. We want to keep timeline duration and also a little bit of zoom blur transition. I've got the pin here. Jump between the Leicester Square time lapse and the POV of the back of the subway train. Now, take a look at it in a second or two. You'll notice below I've got some 
ambient crowd noise. It's actually from Times Square in New York. Obviously, Leicester Square is our version of Times Square. So I thought the ambient sounds would kind of match up. Then got a low whoosh and the subway train noise below that. So let's play it through. Yep, looking good. Quite happy with that. And that's basically how you create video barrel rolls. The secret is to scale the video to 205. Most videos, 4K, 1080p, whatever it needs to be, it's 16 by 9 205 is your sweet spot. And that's where you want to be for getting a nice rotation where the corners are not being chopped off or presenting through to black or anything like that. And there we go. That's the video tutorial for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, by all means, give the video a thumbs up. And if I've earned your subscription today, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.